welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I've teamed up with the lovely Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes and Cardio and we've come together to create this awesome rainbow Skittles cake. Jen's giving you guys the recipe for the Skittles poke cake and Skittles frosting and I'm showing you this easy and gorgeous decoration technique where we're going to do a rainbow Kit Kat cake with a rainbow going inside. Let's get started. I've left the baking up to Jen today, so you'll need to visit her channel, which I will link to down below, to check out her Skittles poke cake recipe. For my part, I've got a rolling pin and I've got some of our Skittles sanding sugar, so I will link to the Skittles sanding sugar recipe and tutorial down below, as well as our regular sanding sugar, if you don't feel like using the Skittles flavours. I've got that in all the different colours of the rainbow. I'm using some red ribbon, some melted white chocolate, three blocks of Kit Kat, I've got some plain flour for dusting my surface and I've also got a batch of our vanilla sugar cookie dough so I will leave that recipe and the link to the video if you'd like to watch it in the description box below. I've got a paintbrush, a pastry brush, a pizza cutter, a serrated edge knife, a pair of scissors, an edible marker, I've got a Ziploc bag and I've got five large packets of Skittles. You need this many so you can get enough of each of your colours but you'll have plenty of Skittles left over. Sprinkle down a generous amount of your plain flour and using your rolling pin you just want to roll out your chilled cookie dough into like a long rectangle shape. Take your pizza cutter and you want to cut like a half an arc shape of a rainbow so slightly thinner at the base and slightly fatter at the top and cut this longer than you need because you can always cut some off once it's baked but you can't add any more. Pop it onto a baking tray, bake it in a moderate oven for 7 to 10 minutes until the edges just slightly start to turn golden brown. Once it's completely cooled, you can pick it up and just size it up against the side of your cake. You don't want it to be too long or to be too top heavy, so I'm going to cut mine off about here so that it comes down quite a bit shorter in the cake. Make the cut using your serrated edge knife. Take your pastry brush and your white chocolate and you want to brush both sides, the bottom three inches of the cookie, and then all the way over the back. We're doing this because it's actually going to make the cookie watertight and it's not going to absorb moisture from the cake, making it soggy. Now you want to use your edible marker and I just marked out sort of even intervals along the way. So I've got seven colours, I need seven lines. So I want to make sure that I kind of keep each colour about the same width. To apply my sanding sugar, I started with a paintbrush and just painted a little section and then placed the sanding sugar on top, kind of sprinkled it. But this actually proved a bit problematic because my chocolate was drying too fast. So I switched to the Ziploc bag method. So put some white chocolate in the Ziploc bag and snip off a very fine tip. And rather than painting it on with a paintbrush, squirt on some of that white chocolate using your Ziploc bag. Try to roughly follow the lines that you've marked and the line of the last colour and only fill in about a half of one of those lines at a time. Once you've got that wet melted chocolate, you can take a generous amount of your Skittles sanding sugar and sprinkle it on top. Once you've got it all the way on top, just use your knife to trim down the back edge and that will leave you a nice straight edge for your next colour. So I'm just sort of moving away any extras. Wait for that sandy sugar to completely dry before tapping off any excess. For my darker colours, I used a piece of paper to sort of protect the colours underneath so that I wasn't getting a ton of green in my blue sprinkles and I wasn't getting a ton of blue in my pink. You can also use a paintbrush here, just a dry paintbrush, to kind of clean up any green that snuck into your blue. Repeat this with all the colours of your rainbow and this is essentially making our little rainbow sugar cookie. You can use sanding sugar, you can use Skittles sanding sugar or you can use just regular sprinkles here. You could also just paint on the colours of different coloured candy melts or you could cut strips of fondant. There's a ton of options. If you've never made a Kit Kat cake before, the best way to separate your Kit Kat fingers is to cut them in twos. If you try to break them, they have a tendency to break a little bit rough, but if you cut them, they stay nice and neat, and they're really nice and neat to put together around the cake. If you're having any trouble with your Kit Kat sticking to the side of the cake, just apply a thin additional coat of buttercream, so you're actually attaching to wet buttercream, not to a dry crusted buttercream. And then you're simply taking your Kit Kat pieces and sticking them all around that cake. Once your cake's surrounded, use your serrated edge knife to sort of carve just a thin line into the centre of your cake and then drive that cookie straight down into the middle. You're better to cut that slit smaller rather than larger because you want it to be a really snug fit to hold that cookie in place. Now once your cookie's in place, you want to take one of each of your Skittle colours and place it at the base of the rainbow at the line of the colour that it corresponds to. So your red Skittle goes down below the red line, etc, etc. 
My chosen design here looks amazing, but does require a bit of time in Skittle placing, probably about 30 to 40 minutes all up, I think it took me. So basically I'm just following the line from that first colored Skittle, and I'm coming all the way around the outside edge of the rainbow in the one direction. This is designed to look like the rainbow's kind of come into the cake and it's continuing around on top of the cake. So an actual uniform rainbow sort of a shape. Of course, if you're a bit time poor, you can just take all of your Skittles and chuck them straight into the top of the cake, which will also save you the time in separating them. With any Kit Kat cake, it's best to have ribbon around the outside, which covers up the line that you get in the middle of a Kit Kat family block, but it also holds everything together. So I opted for a red ribbon with a nice big red bow, which matches in with our Skittles wrappers. The final part of our cake, and I think the most impressive, is taking one of those empty Skittles wrappers. So be nice when you open them. You want to paint in with your Ziploc bag a bit of melted white chocolate about the top inch or so on the inner back side of that packet. Stick that back side up against the back side of your cookie and leave the front side of the packet hanging open. You'll need to support that for about 30 seconds or so until that chocolate starts to become tacky and starts to set. So there you've got your absolutely gorgeous Skittles rainbow effect cake. It's almost kind of like an illusion effect. You've also got that fabulous Skittles poke cake recipe and a Skittles frosting recipe brought to you by Jen over at Cupcakes and Cardio. I'm linking to her video and her channel down below. So like I said, make sure you go and check her out. As always guys, thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction.